हेलो एवरीवन, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अ चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स। टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 11 ऑफ क्लास 8 ऑफ साइंस दैट इज फोर्स एंड प्रेशर सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज गिव टू एग्जांपल्स ईच ऑफ द सिचुएशंस इन व्हिच यू पुश और पुल टू चेंज द स्टेट ऑफ मोशन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो द आंसर इज पुश we close the drawer by pushing. Pull. We draw water from a well by pulling the rope. Further, question number 2 says, Give two examples of situations in which applied force causes a change in the shape of an object. So the answer is, When we apply force on a rubber band to stretch it and on clay to change its shape. Now, question number 3 says, Fill in the blanks in the following statements. First is, to draw water from a well, we have to dash at a rope. So the answer is pull. Second, a charged body dash an uncharged body towards it. So the answer is attracts. Third, to move a loaded trolley, we have to dash it. Answer is push. Fourth, the north pole of a magnet dash the north pole of another magnet. Answer is repels. Now, Question number 4 says, An archer stretches her bow while taking aim at the target. She then releases the arrow, which begins to move towards the target. Based on this information, fill up the gaps in the following statement using the following terms. And the following terms are muscular, contact, non-contact, gravity, friction, shape, attraction. Now, first part is, to stretch the bow, the archer applied a force that caused a change in its dash. So the answer is shape. Second, the force applied by the archer to stretch the bow is an example of dash force. So the answer is muscular force. Third, the type of force responsible for a change in the state of motion of an arrow is an example of dash force. So the answer is contact force. Fourth, while the arrow moves towards its target, the force acting on it are due to dash and that due to dash of air. So the answer is gravity and friction. Further moving to our question number 5 which says, In the following situations, identify the agent exerting the force and the object on which it acts. State the effect of the force in each case. First, squeezing a piece of a lemon between the fingers to extract its juice. So the answer is, agents are fingers, object is lemon, effect of force changes the shape of lemon. Second part is, taking out paste from the toothpaste tube. So the answer is, agents are fingers of the person squeezing the tube. The object is the toothpaste tube and the effect of the force can be observed as the paste coming out of the tube. Now, third part is, a load suspended from a spring while its other end is on the hook fixed to the wall. So the answer is, agent is the load suspended, object is the spring and efforts can be seen in the form of elongation of spring on suspension of load. Further moving to a D part which says, an athlete making a high jump to clear the bar at the certain height. So the answer is, agent is the muscle of the athlete, object is the athlete himself. And the effect of the force changes the state of motion of the athlete. Now, question number 6 says, A blacksmith hammers a hot piece of iron while making a tool. How does the force due to hammering affect the piece of iron? So the answer is, The force due to hammering causes the change in the shape of iron and iron can be molded the required tool. Further, question number 7 says, an inflated balloon was pressed against a wall after it had been rubbed with a piece of synthetic cloth. It was found that the balloon sticks to the wall. What force might be responsible for the attraction between the balloon and the wall? So the answer is electrostatic force. Further moving to a question number 8 which says, Name the forces acting on the plastic bucket containing water held above ground level in your hand. Discuss why the forces acting on the bucket do not bring a change in its state of motion. 
first muscular force of arms acting upward second force of gravity acting downward both the forces do not bring any change in the state of motion because both of them are acting in equal and opposite directions and thus they cancel each other's effect now question number 9 says a rocket has been fired upward to launch a satellite in its orbit name the two forces acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad so the answer is gravitational force of the earth that is downward and frictional force of air that is in opposite direction further question number 10 says when we press the bulb of a dropper with its nozzle kept in water air in the dropper is seen to escape in the form of bubbles once we release the pressure on the bulb water gets filled in the dropper the rise of water in the dropper is due to first part is pressure of water second gravity of the earth third shape of rubber bulb fourth atmospheric pressure so the answer is fourth that is atmospheric pressure so guys i have covered all the question of this chapter in this video i hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed please put your query in the comment section below for more such ncert solutions keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel agla same schools and do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health